Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to do 3D segmentation on in VG Studio Max. Um, I've been using a dataset from the Morpho Museum, so I'm going to work on an inner ear, and we are trying, or we'll try to separate the, the different parts. So we have the mesh of the inner ear, so with the semicircular canal, the vestibule, the cochlea, and everything. Um, what we want to do is separate the semicircular, semicircular canal from the rest. We don't want to do that on the mesh. We want to do that on, vol on volumetric data. And I thought it was a good opportunity to show you a couple of other things as well, if you don't know that. So if you go to edit, oh, yeah, uh, I'm doing it on uh, VG Studio Max 2023, which is a big change in layout. But basically, the previous ones were able to do the same thing. Um, so edit, convert to volume, and you can convert your mesh to a volume. Make sure that create volume data is checked. Uh, you can check the type of, uh, of a data set, but 8-bit is fine for what we want to do. There you go. So now I uncheck the mesh, and I have a 8-bit volume. So it's just like completely uh, black and white with a transition between the two. And you have a white line which is the what is it the surface determination, which is which was the position of the mesh. But we don't need that for what we do. Um, because I'm gonna do segmentation and need region of interest, I could segment that uh, relatively easily. But other thing that I can show you is if you right click and create ROI from volume. I can use the mesh to create an ROI. So if I, uh, if you have a mesh that you want to use as a ROI in a volume, uh, that's how you do it. So uh, yeah, uh, create ROI, and then you select the mesh that you want to use, and it's going to create the ROI that corresponds to that mesh. There you go. Uh, now you have a an error that I'm going to call original because I want to keep it. And I'm going to make a copy. So control C, control V. Uh, this one is going to be my semi-circular canal uh, ROI. And this one is going to be my VST. So they are all the same. At the moment, I have enough. Uh, what I'm seeing is the volume. So I want to be sure that I'm seeing only the ROI. So I put the, it's, I mean, isosurface. Uh, I put the transparency to the maximum. And then if I go to there, I need to enable it and put this one transparency to zero. Uh, if I would have done that, if I would have enabled the visualization while the transparency was not at zero, it would have been smarter. So I would not have had it. Basically, when you enable the rendering of an ROI, it copies the one of the main volume. So if I would have done that before, it would not. It would have. I would not have had to change the the transparency for each of them. It doesn't matter. Um, so semicircular canal. So we put that there. And the tool we use is in select, and it looks like this. So in previous version, it's still called Polyline 3D. The icon is relatively the same. Uh, yeah, And it works the same. So you hold Control plus click, and you can basically draw shape. So it's going to draw. It's going to basically create a mask and project it um, on the as you see, basically. So if you start pressing Control, and you go around the bits that you want to remove. Um, so something like that. So you can place a, an anchor and then adjust its position. So you just have to stop clicking control and then you can adjust the position. I'm going to do a mistake on purpose. So I forget something. And then you can, you could, I can add that. So I could add, a, all this data, but so you will have like a, a big thing, or I could replace and it, I will only have what is in there. Uh, but yeah, what I want to do is subtract. So 
I subtract that, and it's going to clean my ROI. So I have that, and now I can start removing the vestibule, cochlea, and everything. Uh, yes, so same, control. So at the beginning, I don't need to be very precise. And, and the, that's how I do it. I just carve as I go and try to refine along the way. Uh, if, yeah, I, I think I find it to work. So yeah, you maybe you have other way of doing it, but yeah, that's how I do it. So we can do this. So, so what is very important when you use a tool like this is um to is the orientation that you choose. And if you want to do complicated shape, you need to imagine what is happening at the intersection of um, ah. <laughs> I want this one, I want this one. Thank you. It's quite fiddly there. So you have to imagine. Uh, so I did, a, uh, I carved this angle and then this one. So basically, if you want something smooth, you will need to do many angles until you have uh, the shape you want. Um, so I could do like this as well. And then I could continue there. Right. It's not letting me choose the anchor that I want, but it's OK. Just have to be patient. Done. So yeah, at some point it gets tricky because uh, things starts to get in the way, but it's not the easiest tool to use. But uh, it can be useful if you want to separate things. OK, so well, let's say I'm happy with that. So uh, I have this. Uh, let's say you have tiny bits a bit everywhere and you want to clean it and only keep the main one. You can use split ROI. So it's telling me that there are three components. So there must be a tiny one somewhere that I don't see. Uh, I'm going to press OK just to show you what it does. So it's fairly quick because it's quite small. All right, so part one is the main one. That's the one you want to keep. This one, OK. So that was a tiny speck here. Why is it compared to? OK, it's like very small. And then there was the, the one that I intentionally left at the top. So that would be a way of cleaning it. Uh, I just keep that, and I know like I have a solid uh, continuous volume. But um, the other way of doing the same exact same thing, which could be more useful in different cases, is to use uh, the region growing tool. So you select your volume, you make sure that you are in it, and you put the tolerance to the maximum and you stay in ROI and then you click anywhere. And what it does, it's going to propagate everywhere. And it's just, it's uh, not going to be able to jump to an isolated piece like this. So you see, it's not uh, because the two are not connected. Uh, even if the tolerance is to the maximum, it stays in the ROI and does not jump to the next. So I can use, wait, oops, I can use control D. I can redo it, it's going to be quicker. Uh, I can use replace, and it's going to remove what I didn't want. I could have done the opposite, select the spec, uh, subtract, but if I have a lot of them uh, doing replace, it's basically excluding everything that is not connected. OK, so now I have this. I'm going to put some color. It's going to be easier to see. Put that in yellow and the vestibule 
The vestibule is not the vestibule yet. The vestibule is everything. So I'm going to do that. And now um, you can actually manipulate ROI and do uh, uh, ensemble uh, operations. So if you click on one, or well, you can select multiple ones, and the last one that you select is the one that is going to be affected by what you want to do. So if I only select SSC, so semicircular canals, and then vestibule, so keep uh, with control, then right click. I can subtract, I can intersect, and I can add. Uh, so add will do nothing because uh, the semicircular canal is still included in the main, uh, in the vestibule region of interest. If I do intersect, uh, it's going to be the same as the as the semicircular canal, but what I want to do is subtract. And now, if I look at vestibule, I have this. And I can do the same thing than last time. I select vestibule, um, select, split. So now it's telling me there are 24 components. Um, so I'm going to use this technique. And what I basically, you can start filtering out the small ones by telling do not bother splitting uh, the the one the volume that are smaller than 1,000 voxels. So it seems that this one is bigger than 1,000 voxels. So you just need to keep increasing. So you increase the value, press enter, it's updating, and you just need to increase the value until something happens. There you go. So 1 million was the threshold between the two. And I guess at some point, if I keep increasing, it's going to tell me that there is nothing. OK, so no, it, uh, it puts it to the, the maximum. OK, so if I do that, then I have a vestibule part one, which is um, the main region of the vestibule. So I'm going to in the cochlea. Anyway, so I remove the other one and I can rename that. And there you go. And now if I want to create uh, an STL uh, of any of these, I can uh, um, extract the ROI and it's going to add, act as a um, independent volume and so on and so forth. So that's how you split ROI with a 3D polyline. Um, so as you can see, you can do like curve, but like the more angle you had, the more precision you will have, like the, the smoother the, the, the part will, like the intersection would look. Um, yeah. So it depends how you, you might not always be able to use it, but in some cases it's very, um, it's very nice for cleaning ROI, I found. So I hope this is useful and good luck with uh, using it with your data. Bye.